Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm getting ready to head out to an afternoon holiday party and I was getting ready and I remember that I recently got this package from Jordana. Now, do you guys remember Jordana? I'm pretty sure they haven't fallen off the face of the earth, but I haven't seen or used their products in years. When I was younger, I used to buy all their nail polish and lipsticks at this dollar store that was in the town next to mine. It was like my favorite thing to do. Go to the dollar store, buy some butterfly clothes, <laughs> they had like this big bucket of butterfly clips and I think you could get like five for a quarter or maybe a dollar. I don't remember, but they also had all this Jordana makeup. So I would always try to buy whatever I could afford with my little pocket change. I don't know, I just have very fond memories of the brand. So when this package arrived at my door, it was like a blast from the past. And I was really excited to open it up and try it out because I honestly haven't used it since I was maybe in the third or fourth grade. That was a long time ago. What I love about brands like these is they're so affordable and they're accessible to a lot of people. I'm sure Jordana is still available in stores near me. I just haven't really looked for it. So they sent over the cutest little package, this little selfie kit. How cute is this? So inside it came with one, two, three, four, six different lip shades and these are all matte lipsticks. So a couple of them look like twist ups, like these ones. They're like, you know, like your traditional twist. And then these ones, these two, look like creamy glosses. So I think I'm gonna swatch them all. The kit also came with, I can't say it, um, this Glow and Go Creamy Strobing Stick and a Sculpt and Glow Creamy Contour Stick. Now, since my makeup's already done, I'm not gonna test these on camera today, but maybe in another video. If you've tried these, let me know. I don't usually use contour and highlight sticks, but these are really cute. I like this white one a lot. It's got like a little glitter, really cute packaging. Oh, and it also came with, the cutest part was this little compact mirror. You can see me, hi. <laughs> um, it says, hello sunshine. It's just a really cute little mirror, which to be honest, recently I've found myself needing a mirror while I've been out and I just, you know, use the reverse angle of my camera. Now I'm gonna pop that one in my purse. So, let's get to swatch it. I'm just gonna start going through them. I was gonna just swatch four, but I opened all six and figured why not do them all. Let's start with the lightest because I think it's easier to wear light first. Okay, so this first one is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Matte Adorable. Mmm, it smells kind of good. That I do like. And let's test it out. I have such tiny lips. I talk about this all the time. I'm not really the ideal candidate to test out lipsticks. I think that I'm better suited for mascaras and bronzers, but I still like lipstick. So let's see. Whoa, that's really pink. Okay, this is what I like to call Nicki Minaj pink because this is totally a color Nicki Minaj would wear. I actually kind of like it. In a weird way, I don't normally wear colors this bright, but the formula feels fine. It's very soft, it's very smooth. Um, I, you know, it's actually not as obnoxious as I imagined it to be. It's not, it's not as bold. Um, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite color, but I think I might actually wear this at some point. Wow, I kinda like it. It looks more purple in person, I think. On my compact here, I look a little more purple than it does in the camera. I think it's a little more pink, but I like it. Let's try this sweet cream gloss. Okay, so this is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color, and this is in the shade Strawberry Sunday. So, ooh, this one smells really good. Let's test it out. Okay, I like how this smells, I like how it applies, but I can tell it dries really, really fast, which I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but if you take a little bit longer to apply your lipstick, you might, yeah. That's pretty much, it's done. I kinda like this color too, it's a good everyday color. For this outfit today, I think I'm really banking on the red lip being like the winner because I think this striped top would look really, really cute with a bold red lip. Okay, so this one is in the color Matte It Girl. I just read it as Matte It Girl, but no, it's, I think it's Matte It Girl. Um, this one smells like makeup that I used to use when I was little. Like those like little kits that you get at the grocery store. This one is a fun color, really bold. You know, it could work for a certain holiday look. I think I can already tell after trying just a couple, 
I like their matte lipsticks better than their matte liquid lips. It's just a little creamier. I don't really necessarily think it's matte though. I mean, that's not matte. This wears like a lipstick. All right, let's get ready to do our next one. My little bang has been driving me crazy. I started to film this video and it just kept like flicking in the weirdest direction. And I was like, I need to pin this baby back. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep it. I mean, I do really like it, but it's definitely driving me nuts. This is on the matte shade in Gorgeous. I love this color. This is one of those vampy colors that is just great to have on hand in the fall and winter, but it's so pretty. If the red lip ends up looking a little funky, I think I might opt for this one. This one's a brown. Now brown is usually very, very tricky for me. I don't really look great in brown lip colors, but I'm gonna give it a shot. This is a Frappuccino. I do love a good Frappuccino. This one smells a little different than the other ones. Okay, okay. Hold the dang phone. Did I just try a brown lipstick that I actually kind of like? I think I did. This brown is giving me all the 90s vibes. I used to love brown lips in the 90s. I didn't wear brown lips or lipstick in general when I was young, at least not on a regular basis. Like I played with it, but I remember seeing pictures of like Jennifer Aniston, Britney Spears, well she was like late 90s, Cindy Crawford, like they all had the brown lips and I just thought they were beautiful. But this shade is not that bad. Frappuccino is Frappa Winnow. I really, really like this. What is one of your favorite lip colors to wear for the holidays? Like, do you guys usually opt for something red or something maybe bold and a little more berry-ish or like dark and vampy? I used to think I really loved the red, but then this year that lip combo I've been wearing like almost every day, that Milani and the Bare Minerals has just been my go-to. And I find that no matter what I wear, that combination looks really, really good with my outfit. So I've kind of been staying away from the darker shades, but now that I have all of these, I think I might try to incorporate some more bold lips into my everyday looks, just because these are so easy to use. Okay, so this is another one of the Sweet Cream Matte Lip Colors, and this is in the shade Cherry Cobbler, which sounds delicious. You guys, this may be one of the prettiest red lips I've ever seen in my life. I'm sorry for all my hand gestures. Wow, it's so pretty. This is the perfect Christmas lip and I don't have prices on these. I'm gonna link to all these lips below but I highly doubt that this is more than like $5. Perfect red lip. Okay, this was worth the wait. I'm glad I saved this one till the end which is what I was planning to do anyway. Gorgeous, it definitely dries up really, really fast. That's good, that's gonna last you all day. I don't have a review on the wear time for these because obviously I'm just trying them out right now, but maybe I'll leave an update when I upload the video at the bottom, just letting you know how they held up. But these are so pretty. Thank you so much, Jordana, for sending them over. I had a lot of fun testing them out. And like I mentioned, I'm gonna link everything below for you guys, so if you are interested in any of these colors, check them out below, right off the rip. I really liked a lot of them, but I think I definitely recommend this red. The brown frappuccino I was impressed with for the mere fact that it's usually so difficult for me to find a brown lip that I like. I honestly really liked them all. I liked both of the light pinks, but I kind of think I liked the Nicki Minaj one better. I don't know, they were so fun fun to try, so fun to wear. Leave me a comment below letting me know if you have used any Giordana products in the last like 10 years because I have it and I'm glad that they're back on my radar. And let me know what other cosmetics from their line I should try out. I do actually know of one store. My boyfriend and I go to this one, I think it's a Dollar Tree because they have this really, really good popcorn. It sounds really, really bizarre. But we go there for the popcorn and whenever we're wandering around the aisles, I always meander my way to the makeup aisle and there are Giordana products there now that I think about it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time. <laughs>